Welcome back everybody. So we're going to continue the stream with a bit of Doom. That's um, old Doom, 1993 Doom. Uh, I do have a little avatar here that I'm going to enable. In time I want to turn it into a proper um, animated avatar, but for now this will have to do. Let's get started. Actually, do you know what? I reckon that little avatar is just going to get annoying with, uh, with Doom specifically. Perhaps I'll enable it later. Um, there we go. Now, where was I? This is old fashioned uh, DOS Doom 1. Right, let's get started. Not even using uh, mouse look. This is just like it used to be when I uh, played Doom when I was younger. Does it also run on? Oh, maybe that's not even an option. It does feel like I'm moving quite slowly though. Yeah, I'm definitely running quite slowly, aren't I? I'm moving quite slowly. Oh, 
I make it? No. This for frustrating. Hold on. Let me quit out and try that again. Um, if I go to setup, I can set what my key bind. I can check what my key bindings are. Uh, that's what I want. Forward, left, right. Duh, 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 duh. Oh, interesting. I set this up a long, long time ago. Okay, that seems better. as if that's not aiming properly. Perhaps you can't reliably aim at this distance in... Oh no, I was able to shoot them. I haven't played just old-fashioned DOS Doom in a long time. I've got to say, it feels like the enemies have an advantage at um, when firing at range. Let's go out there again, quickly, and grab the armor this time. Okay, we seem to be doing quite well. Yeah, I didn't get either of them. Thank you. 
There we go. Right, let's move on. Right, Doom, um, sorry, Monkey Island says it's going to release in less than an hour, so I assume it's going to release at um, 5 o'clock. I wonder if I can finish the whole of episode 1 on Ultra Violence before then. an area over here I should visit. Oh, that was close. If that barrel had gone off. No reason to go down here yet, but also not a lot of reason not to. Uh, down here is where I wanted to go. Whoa. Okay, that's cleared.
Now, back here, there should be a switch on the other side of this pillar. Work, aren't they? down later. Oh, maybe this is what does it. No, this does the chainsaw pillar. And this is where we were earlier, that's why I cleared it out. Ah, there we go. That's how you do it. I definitely get everything in there. Looks like it. I do believe, oh, nearly, I do believe that's that whole area explored. Go down. Oh, goodness me, I must have taken care of all of them from up above. The Doom Engine, the original one, I think this is It Tech 1, if I recall correctly, or possibly that was the Wolfenstein engine. Um, it's 2.5D. The game really thinks about everything in two dimensions um, that would be top down from our perspective and then it does various tricks to create the illusion of oh dear to create the illusion of uh, of varying heights So 
something behind me. Uh oh, this is probably it. I'm not sure I deserve to survive that. But somehow I did. of it being one and a half D is that sometimes well the game will try and figure out um, at what height you are trying to fire at as opposed to it knowing in a modern game you're just looking up and down with the mouse but uh, Doom isn't that sophisticated so the it means that for example if you're aiming at an enemy that's up on a ledge the game will automatically assume that oh you meant to aim upwards but it also means that sometimes you may end up um, attacking enemies which you didn't necessarily um, intend to if they're in a location that you can't that um, is sufficiently above or below where you are that you can't clearly see them and that's what happened at the end of the previous level ow wait okay Uh, you can also exploit that with melee. Melee weapons in particular have infinite height. So if he comes back over here, I should be able to melee him. That's not working. This is annoying. I think I need him to step out slightly. I don't think the engine will actually let you... I don't think the, the engine is supposed to let you attack enemies that really are completely off screen. I could be wrong. I need to go back for more help anyway. Is this it? Am I done for? back look for health. Even though I was going in that direction to look for health. Um, I'm so low. Yes, that'll do. That might tank one hit if I'm lucky. Oh well, better than nothing. So... Keep going. No. That was close. Oh no. Invisible demons. Spectres. I must admit, I forgot they were in the original. I can get up there and I'm pretty sure there's a big health upgrade that you can get if you do that one specifically which gives you a hundred health there we go and I have to be careful because there will be enemies down here how many I'm not sure ow 
Oh, well, things are looking up all of a sudden. I suppose that enemy in the other room has uh, wandered out somewhere I can actually shoot him yet. No. Got him. Right, that'll make my life easier later on. Because I'm fairly certain we can get to that room later. Oh boy. those quickly so my enemies don't use them against me. Um, so if we look down here, there's... Okay, I'm going to get the right angle. Let me advance cautiously. You can see there's a little switch and that gunk down there will hurt you. And so obviously the idea is that you would um, run down there quickly and then pull the switch and then it actually lets you back up. But again, the engine's 2.5D so you can just go up the top and if you get in the right position you can just pull it from up here. Anyway, let's carry on. Being cautious. Well, I do not like that having that those many barrels so close. for now. And what do you think is going to happen when I take that key card? Well, as it happens, I know exactly what's going to happen. Uh, the lights will go out and some more enemies will appear from behind that wall. Um, so... Now that would have been quite inconvenient if I uh, didn't know exactly what was going to happen previous experience. And that's the blue key card that we need for the door we encountered right near the start. Here we go. Yeah. Forgetting which is my scrape button. There we go. As you can see, the enemies will get into infight, infights. They accidentally shoot each other. Which you can absolutely exploit. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of enemies. I don't think I appreciated quite how... Um, how many enemies there were in this room. There. That's helped. Glorious PC speaker beeps. Now there is almost certainly an enemy behind her. Oh, no, no, we're good. No, we're good in this case. Oh, there was actually a, a secret area in this level that I missed. Never mind. Oh, several.
Now I think about it, that level was the exit to the secret level, which I'm now going to completely miss entirely because I forgot. Oh well. Too late now. And that would have been very inconvenient had I not known about it. That whole area just opens up behind you once you go up the lift. Actually, thinking about it, the trigger is probably stepping off the lift. The, the lift. fire that ink at close range though. Now where was I? Uh, once I hit this switch that's that platform's going to raise and there's a uh, hundred health up there, a hundred health bonus that I can pick up. But the problem is there's no way to lower it again so it's a one-time thing. And I missed it. Oh well. Wait, is that right? That would mean... Yes, that is right. I have to go around the other way, don't I? Oh well. It's gonna hurt. Ow. a good example of how the game treats height. The fact that I was able to shoot him at an angle which doesn't really make much real life sense. Uh oh! I need to be very careful with that barrel. Just 
navigate away through this little maze. Ow. In this way? Must be this way. I was hoping he'd go after the imp when the imp fireballed him, but he didn't. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Nearly messed that up. Okay, I've recovered slightly. Goes to the exit. Don't like this. Yeah. Obviously, the room wasn't going to actually be empty. And what's the betting? There's going to be an enemy behind here. But it's so high. Oh, no. No, I'm wrong. Oh my. We don't have to do this room, we could just, uh... We could just finish now. But while we're here... So in earlier versions of the game, this platform that came down was a swastika. But eventually... Um... Oh, and the uh, the game that id Software made before this was called Wolfenstein, which was a game about fighting Nazis. So it was argued that the swastika was just a homage to their previous game, but eventually they decided to get rid of it, and then they just changed it into that funny old shape. There we go. This is actually the level from the demo that you see when you first start the game. another enemy right here. Uh, maybe not. I alerted somebody though. Oh, that'll be enemies out here, I imagine. Probably better I thin them out before I go out there myself. Ow. Still a few enemies there, but uh, that sh certainly should have thinned them a bit. Standing there raises the bridge. being selective about the order in which I take care of enemies. As a general rule, the hit scan enemies, such as the sergeants with the shotguns and those uh, gentlemen, the normal, the former humans, uh, they should be your first priority because their attacks will, even though they're, the attacks of the former humans aren't that damaging, they will reach you instantly so that it's not possible to avoid damage. 
Um, the sergeants are worse because they they also have a hit scan weapon, but it does more damage, especially in close range. So those so the sergeants are my first priority in a situation like that. These gentlemen that I dispatched, then the former humans, then I would probably go for the imps, which shoot their fireballs. Their damage, their attacks can be avoided, but. Uh, uh, they're ranged attacks, and then finally the ones that run about, the demons, the the least threat. Because as long as you stay out of melee range, they can't do anything. Of course, um, context may change that. If a demon is right on top of you, then that's probably your top priority. Oops. There we go. Enemies in this game can open doors, but doors which lock, they can. And you can tell this is a locked door because of the little uh, yellow bits on the side. It's because I've got the yellow key, which you can see in the bottom right, that means that I can open this door. Otherwise I couldn't. There, at least not visible. Again, no one visible. I need to be very careful here. Oh, yep, I knew there was a trap, I just couldn't remember where. This is probably it for me. I don't see myself surviving this. No, they got me. Still waiting on the release of um, Monkey Island. Um, Shall I carry on doing this or do another game? The big problem is I've lost all my weapons now. Which makes it a lot harder. I mean, you can see how much more difficulty I'm having with just that one enemy. I mean, it's absolutely doable, but I'm out of practice as you can see. If I grabbed his his rifle quickly, right, let's ignore you. Let's grab that. I need this gentleman's rifle. Got it. Shotgun, even. I think I've cleared this area. Oh, no, no. Oh, 
I'll let them fight amongst themselves for a while. a bit clearer. bad as it could be, I suppose. Notice that fireball did go over my head though. That's the that's the degree to which the game can actually simulate height. Ow. Help please. Okay, I think I'm safe for now. And there we go. There's a secret through here. Uh, do I want to take that now? Probably because I need the secret so badly. Chainsaw and health. That's what I really wanted. Okay, I think I've clawed my way back now. Right, this is another trap, although not that bad of a trap. At least not compared to the last one. There we go. If I let it take us all the way up here, I can go back down, over here, and in theory I can run over there and pick up all that armour. Okay, now we're actually not looking all that bad. Was there anything up this side worth grabbing? Ah! I don't know why I'm worried. I, okay, yeah, I was just about to say my gunk suit hadn't run out yet. So I wasn't actually in any danger. Yes, there's lots of ammo. That's well worth having. There's a bunch of ammo left down here as well. Okay. Oh, loads of ammo. Yeah, we're not looking too bad now. We've still lost a few things. We no longer have a rocket launcher or a chain gun. But overall, not too shabby. There, this is another secret, and another secret inside a secret. Uh, this will make us temporarily invisible. I don't know how useful that's actually going to be. 
we don't yet have the key for getting in there. Uh, right. Speaking of which, where are we supposed to go now? I feel like I must have... There must have been a blue key down there that I missed? No? I think this whole area was optional though. Oh, we flicked a switch, didn't we? That will have opened something up. Oh, that opened that up. Now the enemies should be pretty bad at aiming at me now because I'm invisible. Although I've just lost that invisibility, so... Never mind. This is where we were before, and we were firing in from over there. That's why this whole area is mostly cleared. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're looking alright for now. Right, that will take us through to the final room. Hmm. But there, we did discover another blue door, didn't we? Which will probably let us in from a different side. And often that's worthwhile. Because often the enemies are placed in such a way that they'll be expecting the player to be approaching from a particular angle. And if you're coming at another angle, you can use it to your advantage. Like that. Those enemies are going to be a nightmare in a room that dark. Somewhere around here, there should be some goggles that we can use to see in the dark. Is it down here? Yes. Okay, that's going to make things a lot easier. So the room's not changed. The room's still uh, flashing. Mo the room's still mostly in darkness. Uh, flashing a little bit, but because we've got the goggles, we can see very well for the next 60 seconds or so. Goodness me. This room's difficult. Imagine doing this without the benefit of the goggles. Okay, I think we're good. There's almost certainly an enemy in there. No? Yes, two. See, it's not me being paranoid. is something of a trope in Doom games. Still hasn't released yet. That is, um, Return to Monkey Island. So... Let's continue. Right, 
Uh-oh. Red key. These don't last between levels, incidentally. Oh no, this is bad. This is very bad. If I run around, I can hopefully create a lot of infighting, which I can profit from. Although I may die before... Uh... I'm dead. Okay, I think we'll stop dooming there for now. As you can see, I'm very much out of practice. Uh, so instead, if you'll bear with me, and assuming it works all right, we go, I think. Is that working? Yeah, it seems to be. Uh... Yes. Let's try a game or two of Spelunky. We, assuming that the um, the new Monkey Island game's coming out at uh, five, then we only have about ten minutes or so to fill. Oh, my controller's not being recognised for some reason. Just a sec. There we go. Uh, just do an adventure. Yeah, that'll do fine. Oh, I'm going to have to do the tutorial. I suppose because I've not installed Spelunky on this particular machine before, even though I've played plenty of the game before. Uh, I'm well familiar with the, uh, the story.
guy. Oh my goodness. I had no idea there was so much uh, to the tutorial. away it goes goes um goes black. I have to see if I can do something about that at some point. Ow <laughs> Oh dear. Quick restart. Oh, that was close. I should have been more careful about that trap. Got the Eye of Uja. Probably should have brought something with me to the next level. Just in case I start um, in a position where I need to trigger a trap safely. Like that. of me. Alright, one more attempt. Oh goodness, I should have... Um, oh wow. I was about to say I should have changed the uh, stream description to point out that I'm not playing Doom anymore, but... Um, by the time I've uh, done that, it'll be about time to stop anyway. Now. that. Oh 
pick up? Oh, a parachute. If I take that, the damsel will definitely perish. Oh well. May as well show you what happens. Oh no. Oh no, that's okay. For a moment I thought it might damage the shop. No, we're alright. It's all right. I imagine the damsel... No, the damsel survived somehow. Uh, that's unfortunate. There we go. That trap next to that uh, explosive. Oh, looks like the Monkey Island game's out. So. I'd better get that installing. So in the meantime, we're going to have a short break. So I'll see you again in a few minutes uh, when we'll begin um, Begin the new Monkey Island game. Thank you. 